let's talk slaps. <clears throat> Sponsored by Avery's B89. America's number one alien blood slot car oil. Avery's. All right. I want to talk about a few things in the body shop today. <laughs> Issues with my uh, drifter, Tyco drifter. Updates. Secret suspension. Front axle assembly. I want to talk about my Tyco builds. My Sally 1, 2, and 3. I haven't gotten a number 3 yet. But I've only been wanting to build three or four cars from different manufacturers and have thousands of bodies to put on them. And then I can just work on the ones to keep them top shape running um, four or five. You know, four or five Vipers, four or five, you know, Auroras to make some uh, fry. Builds. <clears throat> I, I think this is going to be my first fry build. This charger. 69 uh, Patina charger. I'm going to turn this into a fray build on an Aurora chassis like this one. Um, I'll talk about that further. It's a different build. What I want to talk about a little bit was uh, door diorama so <clears throat> I like these six foot piece six inch uh, well nine inch maybe six or nine I think they call them six could be nine uh, straight away and then uh, put my guard orange guard rail on there cut it to size whatever make it make it equal distance from the hook up here from this last hookup, cut them and uh, hook them on. Put this bad sticker on there, Roth. Or Roth Studios. Um, so that's where we're at. And uh, what I would want to do is take this. Batmobile out of the package. I'm going to super glue it over in this corner. So let's do that. Let's pop this puppy out. Brand new. Actually, it came out in 2012. So it's already, shoot, 2012, 10 years old, man, mint, out the package. Man, look at that metallic purple. Man, that's wild. So yeah, we're going to put this, we're going to super glue it over here. And then we'll put slot cars and stuff in here, or people. Have a cameraman over here glued in, super glue. And just make it a display, you know. And put a few slot cars on it. And put it at track side, you know. Or... You can do like I did with this one. The next level. Got some people from the Richard Petty pit crew helping me out. Super glued a motorcycle. 
it's wobbly because the chassis it goes it's loose on the chassis that's the way it's supposed to ride but I super glued the motorcycle there boom got some rat rings man got the blues mobile you know I can put some more slot cars on here some tycos put them sideways bam put that track side that's killer looks good from both sides and you can push and you can put them together in sections so you can make a big one I have this other one I made. You can hook that to it. It's got some Richard Petty Pit Crew members. Um, so now, got them all hooked together. So, we go from here all the way down to here, all the way down. All the way down to the bat station. It's three sections. Like I said, you can make these and take them apart. Put them track side wherever you want. Set that somewhere. Set this one somewhere on a track. Builder ain't got no magnets. Set this one independently somewhere. Put it on your shelf, on your desk. So that's kind of what I want to talk about a little bit. Homemade diorama one piece setups. You know, put like a little table here, a few people walking around. You know, some guy taking a picture of the Batmobile or something. Just glue them on a sticker. You know. Or just leave these lanes open for putting cars. Have like a little tree here. Palm tree. About that big. Put one on each end. Tree. But yeah, this is a good idea for you. Uh, diorama Lois. I love it. I can't do without it. I've always lived in a small world. But a bean bong. All right. So I decided on my, uh, my drifter car. Is I'm going to go top shelf everything. You know, 723 gears, Dell ring hubs, uh, 265 from Harden Creek with the 452 radius made in round wall super tires for a Tyco. But I'm going to run with the stock arm. Maybe I'll get a balanced one in here. See what happens with it right now, stock arm. But I'm going to upgrade these motor magnets to the eights. Grow eights is the highest I can go on them. And uh, I've been finding out these uh, double pickup springs. They, I think they're putting too much tension on my uh, my springs. They're lifting my car up off the track. I made a custom front end, independent front end for this Tyco. And that's going to be a real treat. Uh, so I covered it up. And uh, so the independent front end scene is right here. Be nice to just fit this right up in here talk on a video yeah this is the uh, independent front end it drops your car down these are smaller about 30 seconds of an inch um, 
So, oh yeah, this one here is a special one. Okay, this is a Rat Fink, uh, the Rat Power Pit Crew, and Shoe Shop. See how I cut this out? So this is a special diorama setup tool. Cut this out, man. See that, right? So now I can look underneath and see my pickup true travel on the rails. See that? Here's my pickup shoe. That's, that's travel. That's the amount of travel I got in it. But it's riding right on that rail. You can see. That's my Viper. And it's riding on the rail here. You can see. And that's my shoe travel where I can push it in more. And uh, cool thing about this also is when I'm routing out my bodies, I can go underneath, man, and shine the light on underneath it by the chassis. I can see if I got clearance underneath, front and back, with my bodies. I can see in there, and there's light. I know I'm clear. I can see up front. Check my air dam. See if it's touching the rail. Now to get the wheel wells, I have to go to the wheel well to check the clearance on top of that wheel well on that tire. I, to check on that, I got to go to the wheel well itself and I could see across through this tire, the light. But on bottom, I can check the bottom clearance of the body and the chassis. And I could see if... You know, I'm right in the rail. You know, my shoes are level on the rail. So this is a homemade tool, man. You know, for, you know, shoe inspection and all that. So this is a real good idea for anyone out there. Basically what I did, man, is I took a utility knife and I ran down sides of this man I marked off an area I would take this way and this way and then I cut down the side of this rail on both sides man cut all the way down here man by hand all this all this and got it and then I took it and it was kind of a rough cut I kind of smoothed the cut on the plastic then I took uh, the green pad you know the little scrub pads, the little green ones. You know, kitchen thing. Got that rail it's nice and shiny, man. So now I can inspect my cars. You know, set them up. So this is uh, the shoe shop. Uh, Rat power. I don't know. Pit stop. That's what I call it. It's wet powered pit stop. So yeah. Some good diorama tips for you. And uh make you one of these, man. This is really cool idea. You know. I mean you can buy them, but I took this, I got this for the track piece, man. You know what? Buck. Took some time, man. Now I can inspect clearance on my bodies, on my wheel wells. You know, I can check, man, at the ride height. Is my front air damp touching? You know, I can look in there. I can see the light. Where it's making contact or not. So, I'll just make one of these. 
$25 I can send you directions. All right. I'm going to talk about the almighty Tyco builds. My Tyco's back here. All right. So basically, I got three Tyco builds going. I got two Sally 1s. That's what I call them my Tycos. Sally 1, Sally 2, Sally 3. All right. Damn, this body cracked again. Oh, man, a totally different spot. I can't believe this happened. Wow. The old spot was here. It tracked right here now. Man, this car. This car's been through hell, son. Look, they already cracked on this side right there. Now I cracked here. I'm going to have to repair that in the body shop. I'll cut my plastic pieces like I like doing. So, yeah, I have to repair that now. So here was the old brick. <clears throat> I doubled up, tripled up that plastic I I like from those you know packaging. But now I'm gonna have to build one right next to it. So I have to cut this out maybe. I gotta get some plastic in there, reinforce it. Super glue ain't just ain't enough. Oh, that's disappointing. So anyway. So I got two Sally ones going. Uh, these are two of my two Sally ones. Both got balanced arms. Good to go, man. This is my my Sally two, but I'm not sure if I want to run with this arm. This is a uh, got a three and a half arm. Own armature okay so what I want to address is I'm gonna on my my uh, drift drifter I'm gonna go to these motor magnets all three of these Tycos had the Pro 8s I think that's so I'm gonna go with the Pro 8s on my drift car and now the pro these are pro eights, but I, I saw some you can get pro tens. So I'm gonna upgrade all three of these uh my Tyco builds, my Sally's with Pro Tens on the back. So that's where we're going on that. And the drifter's just going pro eight on the motor with the stock arm, you know. And we'll see how how it performs, man, because I like to get the I like to have a uh, balanced armature on all my cars, man. It just takes away a lot of vibration and makes your car perform better. I got this rear end set up. Got my shimmies in there. Those are 15 thousandths uh, armature spacers. All right. That's what I'm doing on the outside of my axles on my Tycos. So that's kind of the update on that. I also wanted to talk about real quickly is uh, I was mistaken. Um, where's the stock wiper? Here. I got a Tyco clip. say oh yeah on the stock viper this was when I was talking about narrowing the rear end all right on the stock viper I can't I forgot because my flange is already up to the magnet okay my wheel flange and I cutting out this center part wouldn't help me because I can't go any closer but we're in luck, boys and girls. On a Tyco, 
There's nothing blocking my hub from going up. There's no magnet there. So I, on my Tyco, man, I'm going to be cutting out this back piece on my hub and pushing my hub flange, tire retaining flange, all the way up, close as possible. And that's going to bring my, my line here for the center of gravity in. Now, as far as the Viper, I can't go any further on that hub. I forgot. But the Tycho's, man. So look for that, man. I'll be uh, narrowing a, a rear axle on a, on a Tycho. And uh, so that's where we're at on that. Put the big fatties back on. So... <coughs> So that's it, man. On the independent front end stuff, man, that's... Where's that darn thing? This is pretty cool setup, man. I'm going to put this on all my Vipers, man. And uh, I'm going to do a video showing how to and do it with, you know, basic tools like I have. All I have is a press. But I found a way to do it. And, uh, so yeah, man, what do you think about my Ford? This is pretty cool. It ain't perfect, but it's, it's, it's high grade, man. I would just call that, she, I don't know, a nine out of ten being perfect. It's pretty sweet, man. It's not that tore up. The decals look good. It's bad, man. So, yeah, the drift car, man, has got a secret front end. All right? So, I already told you, man. It's secret uh, design, man. It's independent front end for a Tyco. Really cool design, man. You're going to love it. Um, that's the thing I was thinking about um, on the... Uh, these nail through chassis extractions and stuff. Well, I ain't got one sitting around here. All I got is, um, oh, I have an extraction. All I got is, I mean, I don't have a T jet. I got an extraction. That's what these are called. Don't buy them. All right, so that's what we got in the body shop. I have to go get me some super glue, man. I'm, I'm out. I, you know, super gluing this stuff. So, try to make it like a display. So the guy, the two flags are not, you know, I only had one guy with the wheel, and then I had two of these. So, kind of make it look like, wow, it's kind of cool, like something going on. This one, man, with the, you know, the workstation, you know, that is too cool. Put some cars here. You know, the workstation, there's, the re this has got to be, when you do your workstation, man, keep this area free so you can go like this with the car. Check your shoes and stuff, you know. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Make you one of these. And this one we're going to turn into the Batmobile. Yeah, it's a big Batmobile. Yeah, I should go with the black one. This purple one I thought would be cool. Put it there. Put a tree here and some some guy in a, on a little bench or something. You know, and leave these open for slot cars. Put some people sitting over here or something. Sitting off this edge. <laughs> so yeah, diorama. 
check this hot wheel out this is one of the ones I told you has a steel engine see that it's galvanized or whatever metal pewter it's got steel pins This is nice. I'm going to do a display and super glue this on one of my tracks. That's what I'm going to do with this. But I thought this one would be better if it just had a Batmobile. Maybe like that. The front end out. While I'm at it on Hot Wheels, here's one that's similar to this one. It's got a steel engine and it's got steel rivets. So you can't get the engine off those very easy. You have to drill out. Now, here's another one of those, man. I got the Bluesmobile um, engine from. This one, same color. Now see how the rivets on the bottom? They're green, like the color of the plastic. You can cut that with a utility knife and get to that engine. Alright, so what I plan on doing is getting another Bluesmobile. And then I'm going to take this engine off this one and put it on another Bluesmobile. So I have two matching the big engines, the same engines. I want them with the same engines, not different ones. So I'll get another Bluesmobile and I'll have two cup cars, man, blown. So that, that'd that be cool. So look forward to that. We'll break this open in the body shop, cut those rivets off and stuff. So build, drive, crash. Well, we did, we broke this. Slots out.